corner to my right, from Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing in at 240 pounds, the bulldozer, Matt Tremont! His opponent to my left, from Metropolis, weighing in at 225 pounds, Sometimes we get a little deterred on our path, uh, but Chris is helping me and guiding me where I need to go. Uh, All right. So still tag team partner, still my mentor, and right now we're about to see him put on a clinic against Matt Tremont. And this has already been named a Styles Clash. I mean, that's that's pretty <laughs> obvious. Bulldozer, uh, known for his hardcore extreme fighting and deathmatch wrestling, the, known as the king of the deathmatch. He's won every single tournament uh, possible, and Chris is the complete opposite of that. Pretty much. Uh, and we're seeing a little bit more of the, uh, I guess you'd call it the wrestling a little here. A little bit. And you would think that if, if Chris Hero's on top here with the wrestling exchanging of holds, uh, Matt Tremont is going to be at a disadvantage. Absolutely. Uh, Chris, I mean, he's, you can see him right now. He's, he's toying with Matt. Chris doesn't believe in, a, in like a rope break scenario. There's always a counter. There's always a way out. There's always something to do. Finding, uh, finding the ropes to, as an exit out is weakness to Chris. It's a legitimate way to break a it hold, though. Is. That is legitimate strategy. But when you're as confident as Chris Hero, the, rope, the ropes don't imply right there. It's, it's automatic desperation. Now, in my opinion, although we're calling this a Styles Clash, Chris Hero is going to have the clear advantage. This caters so much more to his quote-unquote style. The last time we saw Matt Tremont was in a hardcore match against Sugar Dunkerton. There were weapons everywhere. There's nothing like that here today at the Armory. No, there's Absolutely oh, hold like on. Right uh, Matt and Tremont on top here with a pretty sick wrist lock. Here, but I don't take him lightly. I mean, I've known Matt Tremont for quite some time now, and I've seen him actually get in there and grapple and exchange holds and hold his own. Chris is on another level, but all it takes is that one mistake, that one little error in Chris to not take him oh. seriously, and he what? might be done. What? Yeah. Like this kind of uh. stuff. Oh! That was not uh, necessarily a wrestling hold. Nope. Chris right here is toying with him. Whoa! Oh, no. Big hip toss from Matt Dremont. Arm oh. drag. What, what is about. going on? That's what I was talking about. Chris isn't taking him seriously, and Dremont has the tools to beat a man like Chris Hero. You can see it on Chris Hero's face. This is not what he was expecting. He's caught off guard. Hasn't even found his feet yet. He's feeling it out a little bit. <laughs> Chris saying he's never seen Matt do any of that stuff. <laughs> and Matt Tremont is, I've said this before, he is one of the most uniquely charismatic individuals in all of professional wrestling. There's, there's just no one like him. You can see how quickly the crowd gets behind him everywhere he goes, no matter what the style is. Absolutely. Chris readjusting his mouthpiece. It looks like he's, you can see when uh, when Chris is taking someone seriously and when he's not. Right now that mouthpiece is in and his demeanor has changed since taking that drop kick. Yeah. Ho, oh, Matt Tremont with a headlock. Oh! oh Haas battle. Tremont is a big dude he in comparison is. to most and Hero is, is kind of dwarfing him in the ring here. 
Oh. Tremont, though, not going down. That's why he's the bulldozer. Usually plowing through people, having his way with them, tossing them around, but Chris, oh. huge. Oh. Whoa, Hero almost knocked off his feet there. Hold up. I don't see that very often. Oh, he's taking the hair oh, down. No. Chris needs to focus, man. He's letting him get in his head right now. He's, he's gonna start playing Tremont's game here. Oh! oh! And that was definitely out of Chris Hero's play. Vintage he does. Chris Hero. And I will point out here, JT, we were warned about the profanity here. The fans oh, yeah. in attendance are not necessarily nope. uh, adhering to that. They this is care. not us, this is not us, this is the Beyond fans. We'll let, whoa, we'll whoa, whoa what? That boot that caught Tremont off guard didn't take him off his feet. Ooh. Hero hits the ropes and bulldozers are plowed right through him, tossing him across the ring. Oh. Well, that one must have caught him flush on the jaw. For a punch to take down Chris, man, that's a good, that's a good punch. He seems a little dazed. He's trying to guard himself a little bit. Big headbutt. What? He's he's going for the ropes. Okay. Tremont must have really caught him. I know, he might be punches. out on his feet here. Oh! That's all it takes is that one flush hit, man, and the game changes. Oh! oh. Tremont asking for more. Hero, Hero's losing this game right now. Oh! He's being taken out of his element. Tremont, he feeds off of pain. He feeds off of this adrenaline rush he creates Ooh. by just becoming more, more and more violent. And JT, you know Chris Hero a lot better than I do, but from what I'm reading on his face, he is shaking. He is. He's caught off guard right now. He. he... What? Oh, oh, come on. Whoa, we need, to, we need to bleep these things oh, out. Big huge. splash in the corner. Huge. Chris, right now, he can't. He can't seem to find himself. This isn't really a position he, he's in very often. That was right in the nose. I'm trying to remain unbiased, and no. I'm, trying, I'm trying to call it fairly, but I want to see Chris deliver death by elbow. But there's there's no tougher guy around here than the bulldozer man Tremont. Absolutely. And so far, uh, I'm going to be oh, honest wow. here, we've seen Matt Tremont wrestle Chris Hero. I never yeah. thought I would say that. A sentence for you. Oh, Hero's smartly rolling away. But Tremont very aware of what's going on. Tornado oh. boot. Still, man, he's not able to flushly oh. take him down. Right to the face. But look at, he's able to feed off of this. Most men would just be stuck in that place and Bulldozer's able to take those shots and he's create momentum. Down. He's creating some separation here, but he is not going down. Hero needs to keep landing shots like that and break him down, keep him on the mat where he's the least dangerous. Oh, he's gonna be looking for a senton, huh? Hero. No that Tremont says Tremont's no. shaking it off. I mean, I've I've been on the, the bottom end of the Oh, I'm twisting sent on. Those, those suck. No. Those oh, no, they completely do. Uh, Tremont, not from not no, Chris no, Hero, from anyone. Yeah, they just absolutely. super suck. Oh. It's two of them in a knee drop. Right to the jaw. One. <laughs> Only a Fair. one. Basically <laughs> a, a, a half count that was. I think here, I think Chris came in here knowing how tough Bulldozer was, but Ooh. it's something you have to experience for yourself. You're in there hitting a man, and he's he keeps fighting back, and you're throwing out some of your best stuff. Not and only, flush. Not only is he not going down, Matt Look at him. is asking for more. Oh, by the beard. Oh, oh, oh. 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 that lifting knee. See, look at Tremont's face right now, man. He's seen, he's seen stars a little bit. But he's not going down. He's still pulling himself back up. It's incredible. Chris is, he can't see very well. Letting the referee know his eyes a little messed up. Yeah. Chris Hero also, he gets an advantage and he's not necessarily capitalizing on it. And that's not something we're used to seeing from Chris Hero. I think he just, he's off his game here. Yeah, he's, he's resulting, uh, now he's, he's just talking trash. Oh, another Tremont huge senton. Saying, you want to be a tough guy, you want to be a tough guy. Dropping another senton. But, I mean, that's three centons from a man the size of Chris Hero. We're looking at a fourth. Four. And Tremont's still moving around, saying, shaking his head, no. That's incredible. He's not even giving Chris Hero the opportunity to go for a pin. Yeah, he's continuously moving. Oh! oh! 
That could be a broken oh. nose. See, Chris, when he's when he's pushing, he's agitated, and he feels cornered. He's very violent. He's very dangerous, and he knows how to manipulate your body in this ring uh, in ways that people can't even fathom. But even when he's angry, he's generally a very cerebral wrestler. He yes. keeps it together. And here I'm. Oh, slapping he's, he's the back of the head. It. It's so disrespectful. Yeah, we're seeing him just. He's just off his game. I think he doesn't know what to do next. He's just throwing everything at Matt Tremont, and Tremont says no. Tremont is still looking at him. I oh. don't, no way. It's, I mean, there's a, there's always talk about Saito Suplex. There's always talk about the jaw of Matt Tremont, and it, it was on full display right there. And Tremont also has those just those cold eyes. Oh yeah. Where you just look at him, no fear, through. doesn't back down. I was actually talking to Chris about the stories of Bulldozer heading into this match, being a deathmatch wrestler, having such a high tolerance for pain. Uh, he claims he's never really been knocked out in any of his fights or anything. And well, death by elbow isn't just a cute catchphrase. Oh. To see uh, to see an elbow land flush in the jaw and Trim unable to shake it off, I mean, that's kind of scary. Hero hasn't even had the opportunity to go for any of his elbows no. yet, really. Now, if we see one land, that very well could be it. Oh, he sends him to the floor. Hero, go awesome. to the outside. What a very, very awkward fall to the floor. Is Tremont gonna fly? Uh-oh, where are they going? This again is Matt Tremont territory. Man, I'm, Chris, I don't know what you're thinking here. This is I, playing I, right into his environment. I told you, JT, going there's into chairs, this. There's all kinds oh. of stuff. There's a stage, there's a floor. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, going into this Styles Clash, I would have told you, Chris Hero, doing? clear advantage. Man, I've never really seen Chris punched around. Oh! oh. Uh-oh. But he's, Hero is angry. He has an opening here, and he's not necessarily taking advantage of it. At this point, there's no way he can still be underestimating oh. Tremont at all. This, this grown man is throwing back everything. Oh. Oh, wow. oh. Now the trouble is getting a, what looks to be an unconscious oh, no, man. No, oh, no, no. Oh. Getting him back in the ring after that sent on. Tremont was just draped over those steps. There's angles, there's corners. It's all bad news there. Referee at nine. Whoa. Hero. He's losing his cool right now. I know. Now. A, little, a little overzealous. The last thing he wants to do here is get disqualified. Absolutely the last thing he wants here. Oh. Oh. Especially being in this fight where it's just, it's just two just big guys throwing down for Chris to lose be disqualification, he'll never know if he was mad enough to beat Bulldozer. Hero almost went into the crowd toppling that guardrail. Looks like official Kevin Quinn is okay and the match is gonna continue. Oh. Hero just nonchalant moves out of the way. A nice high elbow. Miss, lift, Death Valley. Oh, oh Samoan drop. So not only is Matt Tremont pulling out a whole different kind of style, he has obviously done a lot of scouting Absolutely. for Chris Hero. He's Absolutely. ducking and he's dodging Chris Hero's trademark maneuvers. Now he's going out of the ropes. We're looking for a Vader bomb. Oh! oh Lance Flush. Hero did not roll out of the way that time. With all that weight on top of him, Hero is uh, is very good at keep being able to plant his feet and thrust from his hips and propel your, his opponent off of him. There was very last second. He just got his shoulder up with a nice roll. Uh, it just shows you the amount of damage that he's taking from a guy like Tremont. And Hero, Hero not getting back up yet. Hold it, he's holding his arm. Well, hold he on. That Vader bomb. Tremont is showing how versatile and dangerous he is in the sport of professional wrestling. There's probably a lot of fans here who thought he was just a glorified deathmatch guy. And without weapons involved, Tremont can't deliver. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Chris Hero. Whoa. Catches him in the cravat. Oh. 
and he's holding his own until the cravat. Speaking of trademark Chris Hero. Maybe that top rope was a little out of element. There it is. Cravat with a roll through. Oh, no. no, no cover, JT. We're looking moonsault. Nails it. Oh! A very lax cover. So close. Uh, Chris is doing little things in here that I just, I'm not accustomed to seeing him do. He makes smarter decisions. That pinfall, uh, the way he pinned him, just, he could have had a more lateral coverage on that. And that could have been it. Kind of arrogant right there. Both men starting to fight up to their feet. But this is a slow climb. Chris Hero up first. Uh, ah, yeah, that's close. That's close. That's pretty close. close. Ah. Which is scary in its own right. But Matt Tremont's the first to ask Tremont's for more. Still talking. You can see in Hero's eyes. What more does he have to do? Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is. I told you that jaw. What? Tremont's one of the toughest guys out there. That's incredible. Tremont back to his feet. He's really utilizing these ropes here tonight, trying to propel all of his weight onto that of Chris Hero with a frog splash. Frog splash. No. Oh, okay, there was a nice thrust from the hips to get out of that. Tremont with great coverage on that pin. And Tremont now, I think, starting to feel the effects of that elbow, that Absolutely. landed square in the jaw. Some adrenaline was able to propel him through that frog splash, but man, he's suffering now. Hero not back on his feet either. Referee is checking both men, making sure they can go on. We've seen Chris kind of hold on to different parts of his body uh, each time he's getting back to his feet or attempting to. Sailmate knees. Is he gonna have enough energy? Oh, wow. Whoa. No, Hero's wiggling down. Looking for death blow. No. Nope. Right back up. Death Valley oh. driver. Again, Tremont saw that coming. Hero's smart though, turning over to his chest. So even if Tremont was able to capitalize, Absolutely. he's not able to get the cover immediately. And those seconds count. Those half a second, those split seconds matter. After a situation like that, Tremont back to his feet. Looking to bring him up again. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh, oh one more. One. This time he's able to cover. No. Only good for two. You see the difference in the Sega one. Tremont was able to cradle the head and, and uh, stay attached to the leg, able to roll over. Chris wasn't able to just get out of the he way like he did the first time. As much of his body weight as possible on Chris Hero's chest. Hero, though, very smartly popped out of that cover, got as much distance as he can in this ring. Absolutely. They're both getting to their feet. How often do you see Chris use the ropes to get back to his feet? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh! oh. Tremont walked right into that punch. Oh. Lighting him up on the exposed chest now. Using the rose momentum. Oh! What? Turns him a quarter and a half way inside out. Huge Larry, and they're both back down again. That's been the, the other story of this match, is that these two, they have these bursts of energy, these bursts of adrenaline. There's just so much force coming at each other, and then they have to take a moment to absorb all of this punishment. And I'm Absolutely. sure it comes crashing back down, uh, kind of like a bulldozer. Yeah. And they're, they're jogging for position to see who can get back to their feet first after every every encounter they have here. Tremont is struggling to lift here. It's 50-50 right now. Uh -oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. He's got him hooked. No way. Whoa. What? Nope. Hero says Hero no. Hero roll back down. Oh. On the jaw. Oh, two. Oh, standing for a second one. Three. Tr Tremont's wobbling, but man, he's still up. Death Going blow. Going for the death blow. Oh. oh. He's hitting him on every possible surface. Look at Chris Hero's face. He can't believe this. Oh. oh. Tremont, he's up. I've never, what? never seen somebody take shots like this. Uh-oh, looking for that God-style pile driver. I mean, this beat me. I know what it feels like. He can't get him up yet. Uh-oh, he's gonna get that Can overhook. Gonna go to grab it. 
With this overhook, he's going to have complete control over Tremont's entire body weight. There we and go. Use it wow. against him. Right on the top of his head. Gut style pile driver after what turned out to be an incredible back and forth contest. What was that? I think it was four elbows, one death blow, and then that gut style pile driver. Even in defeat tonight, I think uh, Matt Tremont just shocked a lot of people. Uh -huh. um, he's more than just the king of the death match. As amazing as an accomplishment as that is, Tremont should be taken seriously. Absolutely. In a sport After of professional seeing wrestling. This, we can put Matt Tremont up against, I would say, virtually anyone in professional wrestling. Absolutely. Never, never does it take Chris this, this long to get back up. His mouthpiece is out. He can't breathe. He's sucking wind. This is a, this is a, this is a pinfall victory for Chris Hero. But this is a very, very big first step for Matt Tremont going forward here and beyond wrestling.